for this demo, I thought I'd do a floral. So let's just uh, sketch something out here. Let's put in a vase. And I'm going to just wing it. The rest of this way, I'm going to just, just paint. It's kind of fun to see what you come up with when you uh, don't pre-plan too much. Uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but it's a lot of fun to, uh, to play. So let's just uh, throw some colors in here and, uh, and let one color lead to another. Kind of like one color comes in, it tells you, okay, I think we need this next color in here. So I'm laying in some darks. I'm using the side of the brush too, like this. You don't always have to use the point. And there's times like this where I'll just, I'll splatter some clear water in there only because I know it's going to give me a nice texture. Again, yeah, sort of like carving out the, the, uh, the flowers, what, what you want here. So I'll lay the brush and so I don't see individual small strokes in here. It's a, uh, just getting in there and playing. Well, if you get to the point where you can play, um, it's amazing how much fun you'll have, but how much more effective and, and how much better your paintings will be. So I don't have any preconceived plans of what's going to happen here. So it, uh, it can be a little scary, but you can get some really pleasant surprises when you do this. Again, lay the brush on its side. And there's times like this where I'll stop and I'll just look at it and say, okay, what, what's going on here? What do I need? Um, kind of let the painting speak to you. It, it will if you just slow down, don't overthink it. A variety of using the side of the brush plus using the point of the brush gives you a lot of neat effects and a nice variety of brush work and brush strokes in your painting. I'm going to go a little darker now. I need some darks in here to have some impact. Um, ultramarine blue, quinacridone violet. Mix up your brushes. Some have a better, a sharper point on them. Some, some are a little duller. Get into my green, sap green, some uh, uh, lemon yellow. Let some of these colors connect. Trying to think what I want to do with that vase. Um, I think I'll take some lemon yellow and some sap green. A lot of times I'll leave the vases white, but uh, I think this time I'll just, uh, again, we're just playing. So let's just see what we come up with. Just slightly indicate maybe the inside of the uh, the vase. We don't have to see inside, but sometimes it's a uh, it's just kind of fun to, for variety's sake to uh, peek inside. And I'll have a bunch of stems coming out of that area also. But the key is puddle. 
be, don't be afraid of puddles. Um, I know it can be intimidating for at first. It's like, why well, you don't, you feel like you don't have control of your painting. Well, um, that might be the best thing that could happen to you is to not have control. Um, some ochre in there, some yellow ochre, some, uh, again, some sap green along with some ultramarine blue to get some darks in here. So I've got green, I've got ultramarine blue, and uh, I want it kind of dark, so I actually even put a touch of, uh, just a touch of Payne's Gray in there to get the value I was after. Going with a smaller brush here, about, probably about a two or three, this is a two. I try to visualize the strokes. What's where's it gonna go here? Go back to my ultramarine blue and my uh, quinacridone violet. Just so all the petals aren't the same color. Let some of these uh, stems peek out in different spots. Little dark accents, the small little petals. This is still wet, so it's gonna blossom out a little bit like it did here, and that's fine. Um, now, if I feel this is too airy in here, too much white, uh, and I wanna fill that in a little bit, I'm gonna wait till this dries, and I might put a light wash of violet or something in there. But uh, let's just stay with uh, what we got here. Lemon yellow and sap green. A little, um, I'm trying to think if it has any white in it. It doesn't have any white in it. just want to suggest the top of the vase. We've got violet up in here. There's nothing telling us we can't have some violet down here. Practice the stroke, see if that's what you want. Sometimes I'll let the stems uh, show through, uh, like it's a clear vase. This is a little bit dry right now, but I still get that little bit of an effect of that. I'm actually gonna go to the violet too, even though the uh, stems aren't violet. Um, I want some violet down there. So that's the nice thing. If you're the artist, you can decide where, where the things go, which colors go where. Um, let's maybe put a touch of that gamboge in the painting too. I mean, if you had a photograph of this, you aren't going to see these color arrangements exactly. Uh, you got your flowers up in here, your vase is going to be different. But I just, I just want to bring the eye down here briefly.
get some warm colors in this area. Maybe there's some petals popping out from behind this flower right here. And I don't know what kind of flowers these are. And that's, you know, I don't have to know. A little splash of color, some of the blue violet. And I'm deciding now, do I want to anchor that uh, base? Uh, does it need to have something to ground it? Um, I'm not sure, but let's, uh, let's experiment here. Maybe just a tip by blue. Maybe just a hint of uh, phthalo blue with it. fan it out like that. Maybe just follow through on the other side, but I want most of the shadows to be on this side so we won't uh, we won't do much over there. But now that I've got that in there, I want to go darker with it. So let's just take some darker pigment. And that's, I like that, this is a little busy, so I'm gonna take clear water and come up above and just soften it. So the value's there, but it's not busy. So I'm looking at this and just saying, what, you, know, you gotta try to envision it with a mat over it too. I'm going to come in here and play a little bit. Let these colors work together. See, I like that, but I'm afraid it's going to dry a little too light. So I'm just going to add a little more pigment. Kind of round off that a little bit. Bring a little of this warmth up here. Okay, I think we pretty much had that. I think I might put a light wash back here like I mentioned earlier. Let's just see if that helps. If that helps connect these shapes. Um, so there's not quite as much contrast in there. I have to get away from the main area, the denser flowers you're going to see more of the background peeking through, and I think that helps calm it down in some areas. Uh, this is great, but we don't need too much of it. Otherwise, it, it can become uh, too distracting. I think that's pretty good. That's painting a loose floral. Um, don't get carried away and uh, try to do more than you need to. But it's very suggestive, it's fun, it's spontaneous. And that's, that's what's great about watercolors. So I hope, uh, hope this has been helpful, thanks.